won't leave office until insecurity is over. I will contest again as president come 2023. Bori claims. President Mohamed Bori on Thursday vowed not to end this tenor as a failure, but rather we continue as president by contesting come 2023. He said that he is committed to turning things around in the various theater of operation. If only another support will be given to him. He spoke at the presidential villa Abuja during the National Council on Security Meetings, which he presided over at the presidential villa Abuja. The meeting with heads of security agencies was to receive updates on security operations around the country. Speaking on the president's charge, the National Security Advisor NSA, Major General Babangana Mungunu, who disclosed this to correspondents after the meeting, said the president also expressed his readiness to make more changes in the security architecture of the country is necessary. Mungunu said the president told the meeting that he will continue to make changes if he is not satisfied. According to him, he will come in again as president without anyone asking him to come in. He revealed that all the issues brought before the president centered mainly on the success recorded in the operation in the Northeast. According to him, large numbers of Boko people are surrendering in the Northeast. Nothing never had such large numbers leave the Boko camp owing to the relentless activities of the security agencies. <laughs> uh, the president, Mumia Buhari. You know, I gave this very broadcast before of the president saying it that he will not leave office. He will not leave office come 2023. I, but um, it was like I was bluffing. You understand? Now he has repeated it again. He is not just saying he's not, he won't leave office. Oh. He is saying that he will not leave office until he end insecurity in Nigeria. So therefore, he is contesting for 2023 presidency again. So those warming up to take over President Mo Bari come 2023 should better, you know, start forgetting it. Because this man is out to retain the seat. We are talking about President Mo Bari here. Don't forget that even the seat he took over after Good Luck Jonathan was taken by force. But a lot of persons didn't know. To some persons, he won the election. But to him, he you know what he did. Do you know that Good Lord Jonathan actually did what he did by immediately extending a hand of congratulation to Bari before Bari was pronounced a winner? Jonathan saved the life of Nigerians, but Nigerians never knew that. Outside the uh, uh, the, 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 the the environment where the INEC officials were announcing the, the results, we have some set of um, and, uh, bandits on ground waiting 
for Jonathan to be pronounced a winner and you will see Nigerian experiencing the war that is that would have been more than the war of 1967. Jonathan got informed of that immediately. He extended a hand of congratulation to Barry. Because why? Because he doesn't want anything of such to happen to Nigerians. So that is to tell you that Buhari never won this election on a fair ground. He won it with force. Buhari came in with force. But many Nigerians still didn't know. To them, he won it on a fair ground. <laughs> but those who see what really happened are the ones telling you that he didn't win it with on a fair ground. He didn't win it on a fair ground. So let us be informed. Let us know this. Look at the look at the kind of human beings he fixed in office. That is to tell you that he is is coming into office is for a purpose. It's not to come and rescue Nigerian from the crisis that Nigerian is facing. Okay, look at, since he, he came into office, has he been able to meet up or adjust or uh, handle or calm any of the situation that Nigerian was facing since he came into office? The only thing that I see the president doing properly is um, road construction. Aside from that, the rest are babash. The rest are babash. So, what are we saying? What are we saying? Is that not suspicious? That is suspicious. So, now, he is telling you that he is coming back for Tota. <laughs> Nigerians. Are we ready for that? Are we ready for that? Nigerians don't want war. So because of that, they will surrender. They will surrender. You see, Bori is a very corny man. He's a very corny man. Though he may be calm in face, but in heart, very dangerous. That is why a passenger said it earlier that worry is very hard to be dealt with, to be dealt with. Very hard. But Nigerians doesn't know. They don't know. Anyway, we are still watching to see how possible that is going to be. Um, some Nigerians to can be more tough when it comes to um, things of this nature. But I tell you that um, for Bwari to make such a pronouncement, it shows that he is serious with his statement. He is very much serious about it. So let us be ready anyway because um, a word they say is uh, cannot just be revealed if it has not been decided already. He has decided it before he has decided before pronouncing it. So he didn't just pronounce it. It is something that he ha already has in mind and he, that he, he has already concluded. You understand? That just it. Okay. Let's hear from you anyway to know what you have to say. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any.